All right, he's one of the most popular guys here on the floor, PDAC. You can't even get a hold of him. Brett Cook, editor of Exploration Insights. And he's smiling this year. Could he be happier, Brett? I think things are going to get yeah. slowly better. Good, good. Yeah. Well, I was excited to talk to you because I know we chatted about that Mark Bristow interview as CEO of Rangold I had with him last week. And I wanted to get your thoughts on it. He, he was basically saying that how you know companies are just so focused on, uh, on hoping and banking on a, a higher gold price. Do you agree? And is that the wrong focus? That's definitely the wrong focus. And I think I think he made some really good points in that what you know what he's focused on oh, and what you know, and he's been lucky enough. He's got good deposits. Is when you run a model on a mine and do the economics on it, do it on a price that you can you can withstand, you know, getting hit really hard. I think he said use nine hundred dollars, mm -hmm. which I think is really intelligent. So and everyone yeah. thought he was crazy when it came out with the model at that point. Yeah. Uh, but then obviously when we saw the drop in gold, they were prepared for it. Yeah, and he, you know, he's got the advantage. You can talk right, like that when course. you've got a good deposit. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, the other thing that came up was, uh, and also with other CEOs, was this talk of all in sustaining costs. And it seems to me there seems to be this race of who could have the lowest cost. Is there, um, I guess, a, c a concern there if that's the focus also? Is there a downside if that's what companies are primarily looking at? It's... I mean, that's what you should be into is basically what, what is your profit margin. And that's what every buying should be built on. And as you mentioned earlier, they, they, everybody for a while was all in about getting production up, producing a bunch of ounces. So they bought a bunch of lousy deposits or marginal you know, deposits, brought them into production, and now they're not making money on them. Now what's happening is to get down to what now what the investors want or the institutions want is low cost all in sustaining costs. So they're cutting across the board. They're cutting exploration, they're cutting development, they're cutting maintenance, and they're cutting exploration. So if that's what you're doing to get there, really what you're doing is killing your future. You know? Because every ounce you produce, you got to replace. So by doing that, they're, you know, temporarily lowering their production costs, but they're not really adding to their future. Well, I spoke to one CEO who said, for a streaming company that said that even if exploration disappeared, it wouldn't really move the price of gold. That was a great interview. That's David Harkwell, yes. And, and he's got a good point um, in that really annual production is about 90 million ounces, which is just under 2% of the gold on the ground. So if, you know, whether we do or don't find it, doesn't really matter, to, I think, to the amount of the gold that's traded, but it matters to the mining companies because they're, if they're going to stay in business on the whole, they've got to at least, you know, come up with 90 million ounces a year. That's the equivalent of one Carlin trend. Um, it's not happening. If you look at the charts on disco ounces discovered since 1995, it's basically been like this. And in, that's real, the real serious issue is coming in. And I think that's, you know, that's what I'm excited about. What else are you excited about? What, what makes you happy about the industry right now? I think we're going to see a lot more decimation of the juniors. I shouldn't say I'm happy More. That. Every year you tell me this. Well, it's, it's uh, how tough. low can we go, you know? It's tough out there. And, and, and the reality is it's, it's just so hard to find a good deposit, you know? And they're getting harder to find for a lot of reasons. And the ones you are finding are deeper. Uh, your metallurgy is more complex. It's your strip's higher. You. Everything is so much more expensive now so that when you do find something that's actually viable, it's worth a lot more than they used to be. And we're, for every, for instance, I gave you the statistic of, you know, earth made for every 10 one gram deposits, deposit, there's one two gram deposit. Well, if we're drilling blind and deep, we're still going to find 10 of those one grams for every one two gram. So our hit rate's going to get worse. So looking at mining stocks now, are we at a bottom? <laughs> I don't like to call bottoms in that. I do think this year is going to be better. Uh, than last year somewhat. Um, I think selectively there's going to be some, you know, some of the companies are going to do well. But uh, you know, I, I focus on exploration really. And I think we're, the better companies are going to pull out of this, uh, the ones that have, you know, incredible management, credible concepts, and, and a decent share structure and the money to actually, out, actually go out and do something. I think they're going to be pulling ahead this year. Well, I know you just came off a great panel with Alex Letourneau uh, looking at some of these companies. Are there any ones you're liking right now? Can we talk about yeah, companies? Yeah, let's talk about them. Let's say them. Right. Well, who are uh, you liking? What, and I'm talking about what I own, yeah. which is what my letter is about. Okay. Um, I think Miracell Resources. Uh, I've known these guys for a long time. I worked with the president in, in uh, Chile and Argentina for a while. They've got 20-odd million bucks in the bank. 
market cap's 30 something. You know, it's not much more above their, their working cap. Uh, they're doing grassroots exploration in Chile. They've identified and claimed an entire untested belt of high level, high sulfidation style alteration. Not a drill hole into it. You know, it's a virgin, you know, virgin territory that's really, ex you know, it's really potentially mm -hmm. important. Hasn't been drilled, but yeah. those are the sorts of things I'm looking at. Well, good luck with that. But it's always a pleasure seeing you and have fun at those receptions tonight. Thank you. You too. And thanks for watching our coverage here from PDAC 2015. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll have a brand new day of coverage. So be sure to stay tuned to Kitco.com. Thanks for watching.